So, are you feeling depressed? Maybe someone close to you is depressed. Yeah, more and more research is being done here in Houston on ketamine. This is a general anesthetic as a potential treatment for depression and other psychiatric conditions. KPRC2 anchor Andy Sirota with the story of one woman who says that it changed her life. I had had anxiety starting about third grade, but this was way different. Adelaide Blanford says the mounting anxiety she experienced after the birth of her son got so bad, it left her feeling overwhelmed and sad. I'd be sitting on the couch and I'd look at my phone and I just didn't even have the energy to pick it up. Like I just, I just didn't care anymore. I just felt lost and like I just didn't wanna live anymore. Medication and therapy wasn't enough. It sounds like when your mom suggested you needed something more. You didn't resist and you didn't even hesitate. I know depression is a real thing. I know anxiety is a real thing. I grew up in a family that definitely like acknowledged it. After spending two weeks as a patient in the Menninger Clinic in Houston and a thorough evaluation, her psychiatrist recommended she continue her treatment here with ketamine as part of an outpatient program. How long has ketamine been used as a treatment for depression? So the early studies were 07, right before 10. Dr. Neil Purry is the director of outpatient services at the Menninger Clinic, where even more substantial research is being conducted on ketamine. Clinical depression is one of the leading causes of disability in the world. If you've had a loved one or known someone who struggled with depression, it can be a very disabling illness. And standard treatments can often take months to work. That's a long time to suffer with an illness. Ketamine offers a chance for rapid symptomatic relief. Low doses of the drug are administered very slowly through an IV or by a nasal spray. It works on the neurotransmitter glutamate in our brain very uniquely. So that's how it helps alleviate depression and differently than other options. Dr. Puri says some patients may feel better after just one treatment. Others might need a series of them. When my depression was really, really bad at first, it was the best 45 minutes of my week. It took about two sessions for me to start seeing the results of it and start seeing like positive effects from it. I started to want to do stuff, but I was excited to have people over, converse with them, eat dinner. Food started to sound better, just normal life didn't seem as overwhelming. You highly recommend it. I do. At the right place. I think there are places that um, don't have it as regulated. While ketamine is not approved by the FDA as a treatment for psychiatric conditions, including depression, Dr. Puri says it is safe. And though it may not be for everyone, he advises people who think it might help them to do their homework first. I really encourage people to pick places that have mental health expertise and that have a history of doing these treatments so that you know that you're getting that proper evaluation and guidance for your treatment course and keeping in mind about we're not just here for your academy but we're here for your wellness. Dr. Puri says people with certain underlying health conditions such as heart or cardiovascular issues may not be the ideal candidates for ketamine as a treatment for their depression. If you're interested in ketamine therapy, what are the questions you should be asking? We'll take a deeper dive into those tonight at 6. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.